Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is When the dead are alive again. Circular time. Brothers and sisters, we all know the verse in Daniel. Daniel chapter 12 verse 2. Many who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake to everlasting life. And we hear what the churches have told us about this verse. But is there much more involved than what we have seen before? When it comes to God's ways and when we walk in His ways in circular time, and when we are called to go into dimensions and realities to set the captives free, and to bring forth the great harvest. Then we are moving through time. And when we are moving through time, then people who have died, for example, in 2020, and we are in a time frame of 2015, then people will be alive again. And will these people not have then an opportunity through our harvest work to have woken up to everlasting life if they have not obtained it before, before they died? Is that not what we are praying for, for our friends and families, that we will have another opportunity, a second chance to take them into the kingdom of God so that they obtain everlasting life through Christ Jesus? I personally believe that the Lord has brought us all these revelations, brothers and sisters, so that we have a greater understanding of the verses in the Bible. And this is definitely one of them. Yes, I know it is also for the time of the trumpets. I know it is for the, the, the people who are the fifth seal people. But there is also a pattern for now. And when we go through time, circular time, we will come in contact again with the, our deceased family members. I'm looking forward again to meet my father and my mother. Who have passed. My mother has passed away by the end of 2019. So if I go to 2015 in circular time, I will meet her again and I will be able to give her all the understanding and everything that I have received. I have always prayed that they have the everlasting life already. But that would be a second chance for many of us to go in contact with deceased friends and families and brothers and sisters to gives them a second chance, another opportunity to obtain everlasting life. So this sentence, like many who sleep in the dust on the ground will awake to everlasting life, it will come true. If they embrace it, make the right choice and move towards the kingdom of God, no matter if then the time will come when they disappear from the timeline, but they will have been rescued and we will meet them again in paradise. The harvesting time is a great opportunity and there are many dreams and visions out in this, on YouTube and in the community, in the Christian community, many dreams and visions are out there who are saying, oh, I saw my deceased mother, my father, or my brother, my sister. And the Lord told me that I will have another chance with them. And then people were saying, oh, this is a fake dream. This must be from the enemy. Because it sounds like new age. But it's not. This is what the Lord is telling you. He is preparing you for secular time. He is preparing you for loops. He is preparing you for a new dimension and new places, new doors that will be opened that never were opened before. Was it not our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who was going into Sheol after his death on the cross to set the captives free? 
Now, if you walk in his image, and you will also be the ones who will enter death and Hades to set the captives free, only that now Hades has overrun the whole earth as we see it in the fourth seal, death and Hades followed. Then the only thing the Father has to allow us to, to be sent through different time frames, through loops and different dimensions and realities so that we can meet our previously deceased people again. And then we have the second chance that we have always prayed for. Why are you getting this chance? Because you have volunteered, because you have become a harvest worker, and you have said, yes, I am a powerful warrior in the remnant army of New Zion. Therefore, the Lord is granting you favors, blessings, gifts, and mantles, and you will be able to have that second chance. Is it not written in the scriptures that it said, the time will come when you will ask anything in my name, that my Father will grant it to you. This time is here. When you enter your destiny, you go before the Father in the morning dew when you walk with him together and you ask him to meet your mother again or your father again and it will be granted to you. Because you're not going there for private purposes, you're going there for the kingdom to, to spread the truth, to bring the truth that you have seen and revealed and understood over the years to them so that they can make a choice for everlasting life. And so it will be true what is written in Daniel chapter 12, verse 2. Many who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake to everlasting life. Yes, because they will listen to you. They will see the light. They will be drawn to this light. And they will make the choice that they may have maybe have not made before. And they will turn to the kingdom and that will give them instantly everlasting life and when the time comes that they will disappear from the timeline because they have died already let's say my mother in 2019 when the 2019 linear timeline no matter when it's in circular time or whatever it come to pass she will vanish again but then I can rest assured when I have brought it forth that everlasting life will be granted. And is that not what you are all seeking for so many of your friends and families? This is what the Lord is telling us. You need to be prepared for the extraordinary. You need to be prepared for wonders and miracles. They will walk with you. And whatever you will ask in the name of Jesus will be granted by the Father. So be careful what you wish for. But on the other hand, it is a second chance, the opportunity that you have always prayed for. A second chance with your loved ones to bring to them everlasting life, to return them into the kingdom from where they came, to wake them up as the Lord and the Holy Spirit has woken you up in the first seven years. That is harvest work also. Brothers and sisters, when the dead are alive again, circular time, then you need to act in the proper way to bring to them the truth that the Lord has given to you. The truth about the kingdom. Not about a denomination, not about a church, not about whatever. The truth about the kingdom so that many who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake to everlasting life, a second chance. It will be an amazing time, brothers and sisters. And in the next video, I talk about timing, because that is so important now. I see it a little bit different than other people see, but still, there are three options. And no matter in what kind of attack and difficult situation we are, finally, it will all come to pass. And you need to be prepared to meet again your deceased loved ones because of a second chance. Always remember, always remember that God the Father 
is a merciful God. And there is grace until the end of the seals, until the sixth seal, until the time when the Lamb and the one who sits on the throne, the Father, will come down with the rest. Until then, you have grace. And that grace is a pattern to the thief on the cross. Who, are not baptized, who was not baptized, who did everything wrong until his last minute, but in the last minute he confessed to Jesus. And he said that Jesus is God. And that gave him the opportunity that Jesus said, and today you will be with me in paradise. And that will be also through the whole harvesting time frame for all of them. The ones who bring the harvest in, the apostles and disciples of the first half, then the second half of the murderers, the ones who will be beheaded for their faith, they will all go to paradise. Brothers and sisters, a new life is coming, new opportunities, new gifts, new mantles, new blessings. It will be so wonderful to see our deceased loved ones again and to have a second chance with all what we know now, brothers and sisters, with everything what the Lord has given us to understand. How perfect is it? Many of us had not any chance to talk to them in this way now because we never had the understanding. But now we have, and we will not lose the memory of this one. No, when we go through the portal, when we go into the dimension, we will retain the memory. We will speak for the truth. We will pick up the truth and we will run with it, because it is the truth that will set the captives free. It is the truth that will bring everlasting life. You walking as the image of your bridegroom, of Jesus Christ, with the truth, the way and the life, everlasting life for our deceased ones. That is also harvest work. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.